All right, uh, I wanted to make a quick video, and um, we'll make it as quick as I can, but it's about the DJI Spark. Um, the batteries, they're, they're, the drones are a lot of fun to fly. I've had mine for about two and a half, three years now. Uh, had a lot of fun with it. Of course, you know, there's new and improved technology out, the, the Mini, the Pro, the Mini 3, and that kind of thing, but this one was affordable. Uh, I bought the DJI Combo, I think Fly More Combo, and I think it came with two or three batteries, and I bought an additional uh, couple of batteries. So I ended up with a total of five batteries, this one and then the four there. And I always, uh, you know, dated them or put the number on them and then dated them of when I purchased them. This one was October of 18. This one's number two battery, and that's October of 18. This particular one is number three. I uh, would suspect it came with this one. And this one is um, 8 1 of 19, which is uh, battery number 5, I believe. And after a while, these things, you can only recharge them so many times and they, you know, they wear out. And I've often wondered what's inside of them. So I decided this one here was acting up a little bit. And um, so I decided to make it the sacrificial lamb. So decided to see what was inside it and started pulling it apart. So what I had to do first was take these little tabs off. These are the release tabs that slide back and forth. Here's one on each side. So what you do is you take a blade. I just had a blade, an old box cutter blade, and I stuck it under there very, very gently and just kind of lift it up on it and it, it popped right out. It, it wasn't real hard, but uh, I took note of the back of it if you look at the back of it, there is a small triangle. I don't know if I'm going to be able to focus in on, on this particular piece here. But yeah, there it is. Okay, you'll see a small triangle right there. That little piece right there. That goes toward the back of the battery here where that spring is. That's what actually, when, this, uh, when, this, when it slides back, this thing actually pulls this little thing down. It's part of the release. So just take note of when you take it apart that that's, that's what it's going to do. It, it pushes on that when you slide it back. And, of course, there's one on the other side as well. So you do the same procedure. You just get up underneath it a little bit with a thin blade. Probably easier to do it on this edge. Yeah. And just, just lift it up very gently and take it off. And you'll see that it's the same on on both sides okay. so then you have to work on I've already taken this one apart uh, to see what was in it but then you take a blade and these, these parts these sides here are glued in pretty well so what you do is you take and you you work a blade very gently there there's no wires right there so you work the blade down all the way through and you do the same thing on the other side you take and work your work your blade all the way through and then what you want to do is concentrate on the the end piece here this piece here you take and and you work it out but be careful there's a there's a lip right here you can see the lip that's going to go into a spot you'll see it when i open this up you'll see that there's there's a, a area a slot that that needs to go inside of so you want to be careful not to damage that. Or just be as careful with it as you can. But once you get these sides freed up right there, then then you can um, concentrate more on that that piece there. So so you get these sides loose, and then you work on that. And eventually, what happens? You just you end up peeling it up. But you don't want to pry down too hard on it because the battery under there is just a uh, soft pack. So then I took a, a wide blade screwdriver and I stick it under and I just gently lift. Just advance it forward a little bit like this. There's there uh, the wires connected there so you don't want to go much further than than here. So you work that work those like this and then you come up and you work on this little edge here. So you can put a screwdriver in very gently. You don't want to use anything too hard on it because it can damage the edges. But then once you get it 
apart. It's very sticky inside. They, they really have this thing. It's like opening up a walnut. But this side eventually pops off. And then this, this is the, the, the bottom of the, that would fit. I'm sorry, it wouldn't fit in the bottom, but it did like this here. Yeah, fits this way. So this is the piece that goes in there. And it locks in. So then you have these batteries here. You have this barcode on there. I uh, don't know how well you'll be able to see it and make any real sense of that. But there's some, some numbers on there. It's um, quite a long number. And then it's a, a three pack or a three cell, I guess you'd call it. And then you have the little computer thing up front here, the little computer board. And when you press it, of course, they there's your LEDs that would light up and show what's, you know, if your battery's charged or not. And then you've got the wires that are here. Those go to these, these things out here. So if you were to peel this stuff back, you'll see that it's a, a three cell. Uh, or a three pack in there. It's um, apparently three, three, uh, three volts each. 3.3 volts, I believe. The 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 uh, website says it's 11.4, but if you were to divide 11.4 divided by three, it comes out to 3.8. But inside the battery pack or stack here, if you peel them apart, it clearly says you want to be real careful up front here so that you don't. You don't damage them. But it clearly says 3.3 volts, 5.62 watt hours. But it, it says 3.3, I believe. I could be mistaken. It might be 3.8. Yeah, it could be 3.8 volts. Yeah, that's what it is. 3.8 volts. And then you'll see that number on there. And I've tried Googling that number and can't seem to come up with anything. So it might be a proprietary, but it, it's a it's a solid pack all the way through. I, do, I don't feel any uh, actual, like, individual batteries in it or anything. So it's a... But each one is like that. And again, taking note up front here to be very careful with, with the uh, front where it attaches. But that's what's inside of a um, DJI Spark uh, battery pack. Again, there's the there's the number in a little bit better better view. Five point six two, it looks like watt hours. So it says it's. There's a little bit more information in there but now when you go to put this thing back together yeah you can do the reverse but what you want to do is make sure that it's it's secure in there and you take your actual battery pack remember these little tabs here is where it actually connects the electrical connection so you kind of get this you work this down on it but where i was talking about earlier that you have to be very very careful is the lip, this lip right here, there's a, a lip that sticks up there. It has to go into this groove. So you want to be very careful when you put this back together. So, but you just basically do the reverse of taking it apart, you know, gently put everything back together. It takes a little bit of force, actually, you know, but once you get the the thing close, it'll it'll all pop back together. It's not going to be exact, but it'll be pretty darn close. So, I hope this uh, cured any curiosity that you had. And oh, these tabs they just pop back on. So, give that a shot. Remember, make sure the triangle is is uh, straight where it needs to be. Hope this helps. Take care and subscribe. Thanks.